What's up you guys? It's your host Galadon. Yes, it's Galadon Gaming Pokemon Go and I'm just back from a trip to Helsinki. I had so much fun you guys. Such a cool trip. The uh, friendly challenge if you didn't see it. Clash of Clans friendly challenge. Redditors versus YouTubers. A little bit lopsided but the uh, battle itself and the trip itself was a lot of fun and of course there's places in Helsinki just like there are in New York and California and all over where Pokemon is nuts. And uh, you saw it there with the video footage, and here we are walking around. Um, this is actually known as the Old Church or uh, Plague Park. Yes, it's called Plague Park, you guys. There is a church here that was built in uh, 1826, and uh, this church is in the middle of a park. The park is called Plague Park, and the reason, this is creepy, man. You don't want to walk through this place at night. Look at the gravestone right there. Look at the tombstones. There are a thousand people buried in this park, you guys. Yes, this was a cemetery until 1829. There was a huge plague in the early 1700s in Finland, in Helsinki, where thousands of people died. And so the plague of 1710, they ended up burying about a thousand of the plague victims in this park. So really, it was a cemetery, then it was turned into a park. And uh, yes, so you're technically probably walking over the graves of past souls uh, who died of the plague. There's like this local uh, urban legend that the plague still lives underground because it's moist and wet. Anyway, I tried not to think about that, tried to catch me some Pokemons, and I was hanging out with um, mostly uh, Power Bang. Wicked Gaming and Alvaro, Alvaro, Ocho, Cuatro, Cinco, uh, those three guys, uh, avid Pokemon players, and uh, as you can see here, uh, the Pokestop's a little bit uh, morbid, I, I don't know what to say, I hate to think that it's like disrespecting past souls, uh, I know there's some questionable Pokestops and gyms around the world, this might be one of them, uh, but the park is commonly used by thousands of people every single day, and now, I mean, check that out, come on. Now it's even more crowded than it normally is, as it, uh, honestly, it looks like a subsection of Central Park. There are hundreds and hundreds of people hanging out here every day, uh, just looking for Pokemon. You can see a lot of the Pokestops have lures on them. As we walk up this path, straight ahead, you see the outline of the building on the ground. That is the old church. And uh, it's kind of cool. I mean, if you look at this pattern, you could just walk the perimeter of Plague Park and just nonstop circle, circle, circle over and over and hit all of those Poke Stops, and they would reset about every five minutes and uh, pretty much nonstop Pokemon hunting without ever having to leave the Plague Park. Anyway, so, but it was a lot of fun, and that was just one small portion. There you can see the old church in the background uh, as I try to catch this Rattata. But that was just one small portion of the trip. Fantastic trip. So cool to meet a lot of new faces that I hadn't met before. Uh, if you didn't see the live stream or the video, make sure you check it out. And uh, you can see a lot of the different players that were there. It was a lot of fun. We had uh, several different Redditors. Some that I had met before, some that I hadn't. And then, of course, we had five YouTubers. We had OJ. Met OJ for the first time. Very cool guy. Of course, you had Power Bang, Alvaro, uh, Bruno Playhard. And my buddy Wicked from Wicked Gaming from uh, Down Under. Uh, so yeah, it was a good time. And yeah, the YouTubers did kind of crush Curb Stomp, I think was the phrase I kept hearing, uh, the Redditors. But again, like I said in the video the other day, uh, this is going to happen again, I think. They are going to do this again. But uh, I de definitely want to make sure that next time the Town Hall distribution is fair and even. Uh, and that way it's going to be competitive and not just... A friendly challenge it would be nice to see at least some sort of competition again it wasn't like a war specialist thing although i do like the idea of war specialists versus trophy hunting specialists that might be fun to watch uh you never know how that might go so here we are walking through plague park at the time i was with a couple of my buddies there i think all of our power bang and wicked were with me and it's the afternoon you could see it's about seven o'clock at this time of year in helsinki it stays light until Somewhere around 11. Uh, now, there are peaks uh, where there is almost no nighttime at all, where the sun virtually doesn't set. Uh, we weren't there for that, uh, which would be creepy for me, uh, but the sun did rise at like 4 a.m. So there was really only like about four hours of darkness, as opposed to in the dead of winter, you get about four hours of light, which uh, is pretty tough to live with, I have to admit. 
but nonetheless, would I live there? Absolutely. Uh, I would actually consider uh, having a, an apartment there. I think that'd be so cool. Uh, it is so beautiful. I love the area. I love Finland and the people of Finland. Something about the Finnish people. They are just, they're beautiful inside and out. And uh, I love going there. I've been there. I think this was my eighth trip, eighth time to Helsinki and uh, loving every minute of every trip. So as we continue up this path, eventually I will get to the Pokestop that is the old church itself. And uh, we'll move on from there, but here it should be coming up. There it is. The old church is a Pokestop, and of course it's lured. Somebody has lured the old church, and uh, we grab some stuff out of that, and we move on. And one last look at the park itself during the day. As you can see, completely packed with mostly young people hanging out, socializing, but primarily playing Pokemon Go. Now another big fun part of the trip was a boat ride we took around the Finnish archipelago and uh, there you can see a selfie of me and on the right hand side that's OJ, on the left that's Bruno and sitting down in the middle was Wicked from Wicked Gaming and believe it or not uh, I did verify the fact that everything from the spawn table will show up when you're in an area like this and you're wearing incense uh, meaning I caught just about anything and everything on the Pokemon spawn table that you could hope for. There were all sorts of Pokemon out here in the middle of the water. Apparently they can swim and uh, one after the other after the other spawning as we floated around uh, checking out the sites. Now I did spend most of the time uh, talking and enjoying the scenery but come on I couldn't help but grab a few Pokemon while we were out there in the middle of nowhere. There wasn't always scenery to be seen as you can see right here. We're kind of out and uh, yeah not a whole lot uh, going on. But eventually, with the incense on, of course, we find none other than a drowning rat, a Rattata, out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the AR right here so you can check it out. There we are, the Rattata out in the water. And uh, we will eventually catch that guy and add him to the Pokedex. And this is really how it went over and over again while we were out there on the water, catching Pokemon as they floated by. And again, not just Rattatas, there were also some Eevees out there to be found. Grabbed those, inserted those into the Pokedex as well. And uh, what else? We saw pretty much all types, not just water types, uh, different types out there. And here was a uh, Venonat, caught the Venonat as well. And uh, such a cool boat ride, had a chance to hang out with the YouTubers, with some of the Redditors, get to know them a little bit better. And it wasn't only open waters, there were also some rather tight passages uh, because it is an archipelago. And uh, right here you can see uh, low bridge, high boat, and uh, tall Galadon just barely made it underneath. And right here, probably my highest CP catch that I've ever had in the wild. And after we took Helsinki by boat, then we took it by air. And uh, let me tell you, so much fun. I've been on a couple of helicopter tours in my life. Such an amazing experience. Just absolutely love it. And here is the point where the helicopter crashes behind the truck. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but it was a little awkward at moments sometimes in the helicopter. Uh, yeah, had to share it with that guy there. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Had a great time seeing Helsinki from the air. And after having been to Helsinki so many times, it was neat to be able to recognize all of the different spots that were below us uh, that we were a thousand or so feet above and as we take the helicopter tour around Helsinki I'll show you some of the sights as we take a look at it from the air. So there's the train station, there is the city center and right there that's the city center casino also where I had dinner in the sky on a crane this was last year uh, 50 meters in the air they served us a gourmet dinner and once again this guy was there I don't know why how he keeps uh, showing up but he's constantly there all right so we continued our tour around the city and as we pan over to the right you will see a, a green area with trees and that is going to be the old church and plague park right here so that was Plague Park that you just saw in the beginning of the episode. Uh, very cool from the uh, sky. We continued our way around Helsinki. Again, one of my favorite cities in the world. Uh, but check it out as it comes into frame. Top right, if you look off in the distance right here, you will see a blue crane. That is the infamous bungee jumping crane. And that, my friends, is your buddy Chief Pat falling from 150 meters up 
And uh, if you saw there, he held his hands to his mouth. You're going to have to check out his video to see exactly what obscenity he yelled as he fell 150 meters. Well, not quite. He did uh, manage to bounce back. But this also was the remainder of the helicopter tour. I gave it a try, gave Pokemon Go a try from the helicopter. Uh, obviously not very effective, uh, just moving way too fast, too high, and uh, wasn't able to find a thing. And yes, I know I'm going too fast, I'm a passenger in a helicopter, but it was fun, gave it a try. Uh, some of the other guys, I think Alvaro said he actually caught something, or maybe it was Wicked, said they caught something from the helicopter ride itself. So the sightseeing, a lot of fun, but then it was time for Game Faces On. Well, Pat looks a little distracted, but had a lot of fun again with the live stream. Make sure you check it out, the friendly challenge. Uh, thank you guys, as always, for checking out my Pokey Vlogs. Another one coming soon. Thank you guys for your time. Have a fantastic day. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. And I'll see you all back here again tomorrow with more Pokemon than you had today. See ya!